Hey everybody, it's Kenny here. I just wanted to show off the latest uh, beta version of the Bivy pack that I'm wearing now. I made this back in May, so I kind of call it the uh, pandemic pack. You might know the uh, original Bivy pack or one of the original ones. It's still for sale on freestyletravelgear.com. This one's uh, significantly smaller. It's not for sale or anything, not yet anyway. Uh, but I wanted to show it off because I've been traveling with it for about six months and I just love it. it uh, turns into a tent quicker. For those of you who don't know what the bivy pack is, generally the idea is it's a backpack and a bivy tent. And as you'll see, this one turns into a bivy lightning quick, which I love. There's a few other little uh, tricks and things. Shoulder pads, um, shoulder straps rather, have my socks in it for uh, comfort, saving weight. It's a lot lighter than the, the last bivy pack. And this is the first time I made a uh, jacket that is meant to be integrated with the pack itself and that has a lot of cool little tricks too so it's a fly it's a jacket it becomes my puffy coat <laughs> with my quilt super cool uh, i love it like i said this is just an ongoing beta test not for sale or anything but i just wanted to share it with you because it's pretty awesome this is it the pandemic pack <laughs> I'm going to do another video just about uh, how I pack and all together but this is just going to be uh, this pack right here so that uh Everything I pack video, maybe that'll turn up right here, a little card. <laughs> but let's start with the, the pandemic pack. So it's about a 22 liters-ish, uh, which is significantly smaller than the, uh, the bivy pack that you all might know and uh, can still get, like I said, freestyletravelgear.com, the uh, green one. Uh, that one's about 40 liters. So this one, I just went a lot lighter because kind of just for me right now. Um, it's got a big outside pocket. So I really like this kind of mesh. Uh, let stuff breathe, keep some stuff in here. Uh, what's new with this pack, see the these straps here, shoulder straps. The Velcro opens up and I keep my socks in here. So that uh, saves some weight on uh, padding that I would otherwise have to put in there. So it's just kind of like a double use, double duty sort of thing. I've seen this done before and I just wanted to give it a shot and I love it. You just pack your socks flat and in the right way and it's uh, more comfortable than any other straps I've had really. And at no extra weight cost for the bag. So that I love. The material I use is a ripstop nylon with polyurethane. It's uh, lighter than the original bivy pack. Uh, not as durable, but I haven't had any real problems with it. It's held up. It's classic, true. And it's just one big pocket. I made this collar a little bit bigger than the last beta version I was testing, just so if I do have a lot of food or if I get a six pack of beer or two or something, I can have the ability to stick that in there, but also it shrinks down to, to almost nothing which I love. Uh, the weight of the pack is 12.4 ounces, something like that, I think 353 grams. So pretty, pretty damn light. <laughs> uh, but now for the magic. This bivy pack comes out faster than any of the other ones I've made. I've probably made somewhere around 15, 16 or more bivy packs over the years. Uh, only two have ever been for sale via like Kickstarter and the, the website but I've made a lot for myself, prototypes and whatnot. Uh, this is the fastest one for sure. So to turn into a bivy, this whole back, this comes up, a little bit of Velcro and I'm in there. That's, it's good. <laughs> Just like that, it's already ready to go. Folds out. And it's, I could get in there already. I'm in, done. <laughs> I love this. This is why I love it so much. It's just that fast. There's no uh, taking poles out or anything. So here it is set up uh, all nice. Put the sleeping bag in there just to keep the shape up. Uh, when I'm in there, the shape kind of stays better. But uh, this is all waterproof, breathable material down here. There's a little uh, foot vent right here for a little extra airflow. Uh, this is just a no see -um, so I can see out and the bugs can't get in. This is not waterproof. This is just a breathable material, almost like something you'd use for a, a shell of a sleeping bag. The reason I have this here 
is because I still want it to be breathable, but mosquitoes can't poke through this. So if I'm on my side, my shoulder will sometimes be right here. And if it's warm, the sleeping bag's not going to be on me. That way the bugs can't bite through, but it's still breathing really nice. And I haven't really had any issues with the breathability. It's just been great. Uh, for the, the floor, this is a Dyneema composite fabric. And I could have gone lighter with that, but it's just what I had on hand when I made it. It's the one ounce. I would probably use the uh, 0.7. If it is raining, I'm uh, good to go, even though this is not uh, waterproof. I've got the jacket that accompanies it. This is a beautiful thing. <laughs> Folds up to uh, just about nothing. And as I'll show you, this is also my jacket, as well as the fly to this here little bivy tent. So, Got some buttons on it, They're very multi-purpose buttons. I don't button it all the way up, eh, might as well. So there are buttons on here. As well as the other side. Uh, four buttons in total and uh, yeah that stays and if it's real windy I can uh, loop this into here this will keep it taut and then there's a little little extra trick I can do this is maximum awesome so this tripod I use for uh, filming it's uh, almost like a selfie stick with tripod legs and with this in mind I designed it so it'll capture onto there and give me full ventilation. You see all that moving around. It moves around less when I'm in it, but that movement is kind of what I want. It gives me the ventilation and even lifts up the little vent in here. You can see, keeps that flowing too. And finally, I just wanted to show you the uh, jacket itself. So I can wear it like a trench coat. This was the fly of the bivy a second ago. But uh, if it's just raining and I'm walking around, I can wear it like a trench coat, which I kind of like because if I got like a phone in my pocket, which I usually do or stuff here, it protects that from getting wet as well, which is pretty badass. And if I don't want to look like a, a goofer <laughs> in a trench coat, the same buttons that button to the bivy can now come up and button together. making it less of like a, a goofy jacket and more of like a regular, regular fitting jacket. Pretty sweet, but uh, I didn't really stop there. Obviously there's the hood, <laughs> hood is cool. But um, yeah, I like just wearing it like this sometimes. But uh, yeah, I didn't stop there. Let me show you one more thing this can do. In addition to uh, the bivy and the jacket I made, I made my own quilt. It's just a pretty simple construction here. A little sleeping bag kind of thing. This cinches at the bottom where my feet are. That's cool and cool. But this becomes a puffy coat along with the jacket because I put uh, the same buttons on here as well. So let me quickly show you how this works. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> so not not super elegant but it sure does work I now have a uh, puffy coat <laughs> I haven't worn this much because I I got this all working back in May and it's been pretty warm so I haven't had to use it, but uh, winter's coming. And like I said, not super elegant. I gotta work on this design a little bit, but it does the trick. Not sure how it looks, but I'm warm. I'm toasty right now. And I got the hood if I need it. Doubled by that hood. So I am just roasty. 
And maybe I look a little ridiculous, but not super ridiculous, huh? Maybe I do. <laughs> but when all when I'm wearing all this, my backpack is almost empty. It is great. Uh, so yeah, that's it. That's the bivy pack and the jacket and uh, all the things it can do. Like I said, this is just an ongoing beta test. Eventually, I'll maybe have something like this for for sale for other people if y'all like it. Man, it's hot. But uh, yeah, you can go to freestyletravelgear.com and get the uh, original bivy pack. It's a little bit bigger, a little bit more universal. I think you love that one too. Good times.